Hey, Hello. Nathan. How are you? How are you good, okay, good. Okay, okay. <laughs> Is it okay if I record this phone call? Yeah, of course. <laughs> How's it going? So yeah, so I had this idea like back in our home country don't celebrate Christmas and I've been in Korea for the, like I the first time I celebrated Christmas was here in Korea and I wanted to celebrate Christmas like the proper way like the way you guys do it. So yeah, would you be down for a, an early Christmas uh, weekend? Yeah man, that sounds like a great idea. Sounds like a great idea. We're here. So here's the thing. I've lived in Korea for five years. I've always celebrated like the Korean Christmas. I never had like a chance to celebrate another kind of Christmas. You know, like Christmas differ from a country to another. And back home, we don't celebrate Christmas at all in Tunisia. So I had this idea to go celebrate Christmas with my English friend from Birmingham, Nathan, who lives in Jeju Island in Korea. Anyone who lives or have lived in Korea becomes more aware of how important friends are. Wegugins in here are a microscopic portion comparing to the Korean population. And they usually don't stay here longer than a year or two. That makes it hard to make true friends and keep connection with them. Nathan lived in my city for more than two years, but then he decided to move to Jeju for some peace of mind. Yet, it feels like he moved to another country. I was scrolling Skyscanner for ticket prices when I realized that it is cheaper to go to Jeju than go to Seoul. I didn't think twice about it. I booked, I invited some friends, and now here we are shopping for a Christmas dinner. <laughs> 